What if you could build native apps using just the web technologies you already know? C Sharp, HTML, and CSS. That's what Blazor Hybrid lets you do. In this video, I'll build a to-do app using Blazor Hybrid, the same app I built earlier with .NET Myri, so you can see how the two approaches compare. In the .NET ecosystem, you have Myri, a framework for building native cross-platform apps. The user interface is typically written in XAML. For web apps, there's Blazor, which uses Razor components, a mix of C Sharp, HTML, and CSS. Blazor Hybrid sits between the two. It combines a native app shell from .NET MIUI with a web-based UI powered by Blazor. Honestly, Blazor Native might have been a better name. It's clear when you look at the project structure. On the left, a typical MIUI project. On the right, a standard Blazor project. Combine the two, you get Blazor Hybrid. Since Blazor Hybrid relies on MIUI for the native shell, you need to install MIUI workload on your computer before using it. Once that's done, you can create a new Blazor Hybrid project in two ways. A single project setup or a three project setup. The three project setup is best if you want both a mobile and web app and want to maximize code sharing. Shared components go in the library project. For this video, I choose a single project setup. I run the app. Since I'm on a Mac, I selected iOS as the target and iPhone 16 as the simulator. As you can see, it launched without any issues. In the new project, there is a page called mainpage.xaml. It contains a Blazor WebView. Blazor WebView hosts your Razor components. You can use one or multiple Blazor WebView instances, depending on your app needs. Just remember, if you want to display web content, it must go inside a web view. Now it's time to start building the app. There's already a home page in the pages folder. This will display the to-do list. I'll add two more pages, one for item details and one for adding a new item. So let's define a to-do item model in the models folder. Next, I set up the services by creating a new folder named services. Inside it, I had an interface called I to do service, where I define what the services should do. Then I create a simple implementation called in memory to do service. It's a mock database using an in memory list, just enough for now. Finally, I register it with the dependency injection container so Razor components can use it. Let's talk about showing data on the home page. I inject two services, to do service, which handle the to do items, and navigation manager. Navigation manager is built into Blazor, so you don't have to create it. It helps navigate between pages inside the web view. When the component loads, it calls a service to fetch the to do items, and in the UI, I look through the list and display each to-do with a checkbox and its title. Nothing fancy. The checkbox is a built-in Blazor component. It's part of a form component set that supports two-way binding and validation. I also added a button to navigate to the hot new item page. To make the UI interactive, I use built-in events like on click and on change. The event logic lives in the code section. The result looks quite different from the MIUI version. The good news, since this run in a web view, you can use Bootstrap, Tailwind, or full UI libraries like ModBlazor or Radzen to enhance the look of your app. I choose Bootstrap and just like that, the UI is much better. Now let's compare the two. For a basic to-do list, Blazor Hybrid handles it with 10 lines of code. MyUI requires much more markup and layout configuration in XAML. It's surprising how much markup MyUI needs for a simple list compared to Blazor Hybrid. But there's a trade-off. The MyUI collection view offers powerful native features, like virtualization for large data set, data grouping with header and flexible layout. Feature not built into standard HTML list. Blazor has a quick grid component for effective data display 
And libraries like Modblazor and Radzen also offer grid and table components. On the logic side, MyUI typically follow the MVVM pattern. The UI talks to the view model, which contains logic and communicate with services. Its structure, layered and promote testability, but also means more files, more setup, more plumbing. In Blazor Hybrid, the experience is simpler. Logic lives in the code block of the Razor component. You fetch data, handle events, and render UI all in one file. You can still split logic into separate files if needed, So how does Blazor Hybrid handle moving between pages compared to MyUI? It works like client-side routing in the SPA. You pass a route and the right component loads. For example, in the detail page, I define the route like this. And from the home component, I navigate like this. I also added a route constraint to ensure ID is a valid grid. When testing, I run into an error. The error occurred inside the web view. So to debug it, I used the web view developer tools on my Mac. For that, I opened Safari, went to develop the similar device, opened the web view session and checked the console logs. The issue, I wrote a GUID with an uppercase G in the route. It should be lowercase. So once I fixed that, the navigation worked. My navigation uses the navigation stack, so system back buttons and gesture just work. However, in Blazor Hybrid, if you want native-like back behavior, you will need to wire that by yourself. One big question developers have with Blazor Hybrid is, can you talk to native device features like the file system or camera? Yes, it can. In the hat page, for example, I let user pick a file. To do that, I use input file, a Blazor component that triggers the file picker UI, and file picker, a helper that bridges to the native file dialog with MyUI. While the UI looks and behaves like a web app, under the hood, it's still native. The web view serves as a front end, but the c -sharp code can call native APIs through MyUI libraries. So in contrast, .NET MyUI uses native UI directly and calls native API without a bridge, just pure c -sharp. Blazor Hybrid lets you build real native apps using just c -sharp, HTML, and CSS, a big win for teams with web experience. Now, how is this different from a powerful progressive web app? Good question. A progressive web app, even when installed, still runs inside a browser, in a sandbox. Blazor Hybrid runs inside a native MyUI shell, giving you direct access to native APIs using c -sharp. That unlocks capabilities progressive web apps can't fully reach, at least not yet. Thanks for watching. See you next time.